Villa are back, back in action. The 23 24 season is well underway now. Uh, Warsaw 1, Aston Villa 1, our first match reaction of the season. It'll be short, quick fire, straight to the point. Right, let's go. 1 uh, 1, a good run out. It's just the type of performance I expected. We still yet to have our full whole squad back together. We've got a lot of youth players in there as well. So it was great to see them in the mix. It's great to know that Uno is really getting to have a good look at them. They've been in full training with a lot of the first teamers all week and all the last week as well. So, yeah, it was, it was, it was a decent performance. If we have a little look for any of you that missed it at the lineup, it was Marshall, uh, Cash, Feeney, Carlos, Luke Dean, Philogene Bidace, Irabunum, Douglas Louise, Aaron Ramsey, Brendia, and Watkins. The system was still the same. It was the 4 2 2 2 with the boxed out midfield. Brendia and Philogene Bidace were going out wide, sort of one sort of supporting the striker as well. Um, so, yeah, some standout players for me, especially in the first half. I thought Bidace was good. He won the penalty. Irabunum looked strong, he looked powerful. Watkins looks absolutely on it. He looks ripped up. He looks strong. His, his hold-up play was really good. His speed, his awareness. He looked like the brightest player for Villa and I think the brightest player on the pitch as well. He looked really, really sharp, did Watkins. Uh, so, yeah, first off, we conceded off the corner. Uh, poor goal to concede, really. The ball sort of landed at Feeney's feet um, and it just sort of got stuck underneath him and it fell to a Warsaw player and it was 1-1. Uh, Bidace done some really good work to win the penalty. Watkins stepped up and scored the penalty. Um, so that was good for him as well. If he's going to be our penalty taker this season, he rifled it bottom left corner into the side net. And it was one of those that sort of just hits that side of that net. And the keeper has no chance when they hit there. So first off, it was good to see Feeney. I've watched him quite a lot. He looks quite composed, quite calm as you'd expect from, from him, because that's his style of play. Uh, played out from the back quite nicely. It felt like it took a bit of a while for us to get into it. And it is the first game. It is the first game back. They're getting minutes into the legs. Uh, so, yeah, first half was OK. Uh, so, second half, Feeney, Irabuna and Ramsey went off to start with. We had Consat, Chambers and Sanson. Uh, Sanson had a few sort of like pot shots from outside the box. And then we made a whole raft of changes. Our, our young kids were coming on. So we've got Kellyman, um, we've got Sinisalo, Bogard, Crisen, Tommy O'Reilly, Caden Young, Patterson, and Revan. And out of those, there were some really standout little performances and little cameos. Kellyman, who I've got really, really high hopes for. Looked good. He played some really nice touches. Tommy O'Reilly was just... He's such a good player, Tommy O'Reilly. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Caden Young looked pacey. Bidace looked pacey. Bidace looked good. Um, again, Cash and, and Luke Dean looked, looked good going forward. All in all, it was just a good, good run out. And I think the first game to get minutes into their legs, 1-1. One, one, decent performance. Uh, nice to see Carlos back on the pitch as well. Um, so, yeah, it was just a, a, a decent game. We did a really good watch along. We had loads of you in there, so that was really fun to do. So we turn our attention now onto the USA Tour, which is where pre-season for Aston Villa will start ramping up now. The sessions all ramp up. The whole squad will be together. We've got three games against Premier League opposition on the 24th at midnight. We've got Newcastle in the link, Lincoln financial field stadium we've got Fulham on the 27th at the Exploria Stadium at midnight and then we've got Brentford on the 30th at five o'clock which is a Sunday so big big games in pre-season great to test yourself against Premier League opposition as well and then we've got a Lazio game and a Valencia game where I imagine the lineups will be split half in half half play there and half play there so really good to see some of the youth players Warsaw I thought played well I think Warsaw's pre-season is a little bit more advanced than ours. And I'd probably say that's the best Warsaw performance I've seen for quite some time against Aston Villa as well. So, yeah, the minutes are there. Great to have Villa back. Great creating the content, knowing that Villa are back as well. Cheers for all of your support. Up the Villa.